Hey guys, Xcode101 Helper here, and so today we're going to make a very, this is probably one of the most basic, easiest things to do today, we're going to make a basic database, and so what we're going to do, basically in the project, is make it so that we have a search engine through search for your data, and we can make an add and remove. This is, uh, Xcode has been known for making the easiest ways for having the easiest ways to make this. This is probably the easiest. This is probably the first lesson you will ever learn in Coco or in Xcode. So we're not gonna do a Coco application, we're gonna do a, a core data application. So choose and we're gonna name this data. Save it. Here we are. And so as you see here in models, we have a data dot XC data model. So, in order to do our data in this, we have to double click on this. And here we have a data chart. Okay? And so, what you do first is you click this plus sign to add an entity. And so, you can name this whatever. So, what we're going to do is just school supplies. So, s whoopsies. School sup. Oh my god. Supplies. Typing's off today. And so this is all just just the name we're going to I'm sorry it cannot be in this data model it already does so what you have to do is school uppercase supplies like that and it'll come out correct once you do it'll come out with a space and so what we do now is we do add attribute and our new attribute is going to be let's say how many well, pencils. It'll what it'll do is how many pencils our school has, how many how many amounts of paper, erasers. Whoops. Yeah. Erasers. And let's do whiteboards. Okay. And so now we have to do is go to the erasers, our first one, and it is undefined. And so integer is just number. Uh, along with decimal, double, and so what we're going to do is string, which means it is, you enter it in as text, and it is going to be indexed, check that, and it is not optional, you must enter it in. And then, whiteboards, same thing, except this time we're going to enter, no, I'm sorry, it erases, we're going to, it's going to be a double. Is not well. We can't be a double. If you say double, then you're kind of like saying, "I have 1.5 erasers," which is kind of like, "I have one and a half erasers." How do you do that? So it's going to be integer 16, which means well, integer 64, because that is a, a maximum number. And so we're gonna do that with the same here. Integer 64 index not optional. Let's make sure this tr is correct. Whiteboards undefined. Same thing. Pencils, same thing. Here we are. So let's save it up and close down this. So now what we're going to do is going to go to nib files, main menu.xib. Wait for interface builder to load up. Here we are. And let's, if window doesn't show up, just double click window right here. Here we are. So now in library, what we're going to do is we're going to search for data. And it should be the only one. So you drag core data entity in here. And we click data, data model, school supplies. Next. And now we get to choose what it looks like. So single view is just you fill it in. But if you do master slash detail view, you can add a search field, details field, and an add slash remove or fetch. So we're going to do that for a start. And we'll this is the one that we want to show so say we don't want to show how many pencils uh... we uncheck that but just for a tutorial today that is more advanced why would you, you wouldn't want something to show you click finish and here we are here you are and so now what we're going to do save it up close down interface builder build and go here we are data launched add Add one. How many pencils do we have? We have 200 pencils. How many papers do we have? We have 300 amounts of papers. 
how many whiteboards do we have? We have 20 whiteboards. How many erasers do we have? We have 30 erasers. So as you see here, it's a database. And if you want to add, this is say for a classroom. Well, what we could do here is actually we could close this up. Why don't we go back into our data? And we're going to add another, whoops, we're going to add another attribute. And this is going to be teacher. Whoops, lowercase t, remember that, teacher. And this is going to be a string because it's going to enter which teacher has how many of which. So close this up. Whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see this again. Open recent project data. Okay, close this up. And then go to div files, main mag, new XIB again. Load up. And now we're going to delete this since we're we're updating it. Delete. Library. Data. Search again. Core data. Do, do, do. Next. Master. Check, check, check. Next. Next. And here we are. See? Now if we close up Interface Builder. Build and go. <coughs> oh, that was just, that's just in case because this is this window's big for this. It doesn't need to be this big. That's nothing wrong. It it's just a optional thing. You can delete that. So how many so teacher is going to be Mrs. Bob. Yes. I like the name. Erasers, she has one hundred erasers. Whiteboard, she has twelve whiteboards. Paper, she has four hundred stacks. And pencil, she has thirty nine pencils. There you are. So then let's say we add uh, just enter in random stuff but if we enter in that invalid number see it has to be a number since we entered in integer let's say 30 and it's easier to just enter it here if you want 30 39 30 and say you don't you want to search for mrs bob right mrs bob there she is only detail and you have whole details of database so this is a basic database tutorial on xcode Please subscribe and watch more videos. Thank you.